This is part six of modeling the underwater explorer and I think this is going to be it. Um, as much as I love to model this, I think we need to wrap it up and as I may have mentioned, uh, at least in the information section of previous uh, videos in this series, I've got a baby coming soon and so, um, and I have other projects I want to work on. All right, so um, since part five, I've just done a couple of things. Uh, I've gone in and I've separated these out and uh, put in a glass material and, a, and point lights in there and in there. And I covered up these holes with an, another very basic material. All right, and I've also experimented with some really, really simple uh, materials, just, you know, node base. Um, colors mostly and the, the principle be a BSDF and so I'm going to be showing some renders uh, at the end of this um, like I said I could go on for a long time so many cool things I'd love to add but I, I really gotta wrap this up I may come back to it but we'll see so right now though what I'd like to do is uh, put in some kind of little hatch on the top and that and that'll be it and then we'll render this thing and see what it looks like all right so Let's grab maybe, I don't know, that, is that, that's centered. How about that? All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna separate it out. And take that, and hide it. So there's my, my uh, little hole. And I'm gonna come back in and in edge selection, oh, by the way, I should turn on my screencast keys, I guess. All right, I'm gonna grab that edge and I'm going to extrude down E and pull it down just a little, little bit like that. And then I'll come down some more. I'm just gonna probably leave it like that. Let's have a look at that. All right, so there's my a little, a little hole. And then I'm gonna bring back this piece here. And let's set the origin to geometry and cursor to selected and let's uh, select it and give it some thickness E and I'll just bring it up and I'll put an edge loop down here but I don't want to do too much and let's slide it back down and see how well it sort of seems to fit all right I'm happy enough with that um, and so what we'll do is let's make a little handle for this so you could, you know, climb up on top of the ship. Maybe I'll make a couple of holders and uh, you could uh, do something in there or get out from there, whatever. All right, so let's bring in a, let's use a plane. Okay, and I'll give it some thickness. And then let's uh, put just a couple of edge loops, just really simple. Uh, grab this face. Actually, let's do it uh, instead of inset, let's do another couple of edge loops, scale in the Y. So I'm going to need those if I put a subdivision surface anyhow. And then I would grab this piece. That might be a little wide. I don't know. Nah, I think it's okay. I'm going to screw that up. Like that. And then what I would do is just rotate it down again. Um, rotate X 180. I could get rid of those bottom faces. I also went around and I did get rid of a few uh, faces. So we'd have it maybe around there. Let's add a subdivision surface. It's not very impressive or exciting, but that's all it needs to be. Some more edge loops out here and here leave it a little bit rounded in there and better do that 
see what that looks like. Okay, do I need some under there? Yeah, just coming up, eh? Let's make it just a little bit narrower. Scale that in the X. Okay, so that would be the handle. And um, we'll need some kind of a hinge over here. I don't know, is that all right? I guess it's okay. We'll, we'll see if we, if we like it. I'm not, not crazy about it. At this point, can I... Not much I could do if I even wanted to try to bevel that. I don't think. Oh, why did I get that? Okay. We could see. Oh, is that going to turn out terribly? That's such a minor thing. Nah, it's not going to do anything. Yeah, we don't need that. Okay, so let's let's do a hinge here. Uh, let's bring in um, a cylinder and keep it pretty low, like 18. And no tops. We'll rotate Y and 90 and scale. And I'll put this over here. Scale shift X. Maybe a scale on the X, make it bigger. We'll, we'll get the right position later. Ah. All right, we're gonna close it up and I think I'm just gonna use uh, N-Gons. I'm gonna hit F to make a face and F to make a face and with that one selected and this one I'm gonna bevel two maybe. See if that's enough to put smoothing on. That should be fine for what I want to do. And with that, I'll bring in, say, a cube. Scale that in the Z. We can get rid of the bottom face on that. really simple kind of uh, hinge. I don't even know if it'll look that much like a hinge, but uh, we'll do that. Um, maybe I can just bevel that. Let's just see what smoothing looks like on it. It's probably okay. Put a piece over here, but maybe I'll make this one a little shorter. here E and uh, Alt S bring it in and then at this point I'll need bevels here and edge loops in here because of the smoothing Realistic it looks. We're not going to see it up close, that's for sure. Okay, and let's grab some of these bolts. Control L, Shift D, P to separate it out. And with just that one selected, origin of geometry. Let's look from the front. Okay, and let's slide this over into the middle position and bring it over here. All right, then work on this. Let's rotate in the Y, rotate in the X. And we'll scale it. I just want to think about if I want just one. Yeah, probably, eh? Look. Is that too big? T 
they don't have to be exact same size um, and then what I'll do is I'll take this one and I'll put them out on here a little bit somewhere around there rotate that in the Y just see where that ends up yeah maybe there and maybe we'll go shift D bring them to the opposite end and in the middle, I just want to decide if I think those are big enough. Yeah, they don't have to be the exact same size. All right, how about I take take these? Not that. Oh, geez, come on. And I'll join them. I don't know. Can I just mirror over that? Might be the easiest way to do it. should have the same material as the ship this I'm going to I've because I've got some materials in here I'm gonna make black and this is going to be black and this is going to be black and this is going to be um, well I guess I'll give it away by sh by going to material view okay something like that okay this I'm gonna have I'll try I don't think I like it though. <laughs> uh, I might just do the metal. 